Hi, my name is Nikolai, and in this lesson we're going to look at the three most common used nodes. First, it's the serial node. The serial node builds on top of the previous node, so all adjustments you do here are coming from what you did in the previous node. Then we have the parallel nodes. In the parallel node, you have two nodes in this case, and these uh, both together are then mixed together in the parallel mixer. So you get the combination of node 2 and node 4. Then you have the layer nodes. And in the layer nodes, you get like an extra video layer. So what you see in node 3 is exactly the same in what is in node 1 before you do any adjustments. And then they are put together like in the layer mixer node as a combination. Say if you want to make like something like the look in Sin City or the look in Schindler's List, we have black and white color and one color coming out of the picture, which is then in this case red. Let's have a look at how we do that. So here we have a picture with a lot of bright colors. So first of all, I will just do a little bit of contrast so we get something to work with. So, okay, that looks nice. So what we do is we add a serial node by pressing Option and S. When we have the serial node, we then remove all the saturation. So now we have a black and white picture. If I add another serial node by pressing Option S, then try to add more saturation to it again nothing happens because there is no saturation in the picture before so you can't really add any saturation if there is none. So this is not the way to go. So let's select it and delete it and instead put a parallel node. By pressing option and P we get a parallel node and if I here add the saturation to 100 then you see that we get the color back again. The parallel node works like this. In the first layer it removes all the saturation. In the second layer it adds saturation. So here you do minus 50 and here you add 50 again. So basically we're back to zero. So what it does if I select both nodes and then press command D to disable them you see that nothing happens. The color is exactly the same as before. But what we can do now is that we can do a key. So if I select the green here and key that out, then you see that just the green color is coming out. But since we are already at 100, we can't really add any further saturation to the green. So in that case, we would need to use a layer node. But before screwing this up, I'm going to do something which is called new version. The new version is like a new version of the grade, but you don't throw away the old grade. So what you can do is you uh, press Command Y and gives you new version. And then you can see here that it shows above the thumbnail that there are several squares around the number and this means that that shot has several different grade versions. So let's do that. I go back to the shot, command Y, and now I got another version as you see here and also around the number 6. And now there is a very nifty uh, function so you don't have to build the whole tree again. You can right click on the parallel node and morph it into a layer mixer node. So what that does, now it uh, changes this to a layer. And as you can see, the saturation is much higher now because now we have added 50 uh, on top of what we have in the node 1. So if we go back to 50 by selecting the node, we're back to what the color was in node 1. So what we also can do, we can add several layer nodes and also parallel nodes. So if I add another layer node by pressing Option and L, 
then, as you can see, we have the full picture again from node one, because now node number four is just like a video layer on top of the other ones. If I then do a key, and say on the orange, then we have both colors keyed out. If I go back to the parallel version by pressing Command and B, be going to the previous version, and I add another parallel node uh, by pressing Option and P, you see nothing happens because the parallel node is a combination of all three of these nodes and we haven't done anything so it doesn't change it. So here we again need to add full saturation to see the colors and then we can do a key and see that both colors are shown. I hope this helps you understand that the serial, parallel and layer node and when to use what a little better when you do your own projects. Thank you very much.